storage, where all your precious games and data is stored. Firstly, there are mechanical drives that have spinning disks in them, which if we're honest are kind of on their way out, but they're still the cheapest option if you're looking at really being price efficient. Then we have solid state drives, or more commonly referred to as SSDs. They don't have any moving parts like mechanical drives, and they kind of look like big memory cards, but they're also a lot quicker. Lastly, we have SSD M.2. They're significantly lighter, smaller, and faster than normal SSDs, but they come with the caveat of a much higher price tag. When installing the SSD, you're going to of course need to find where it's most suitable in the case itself. It can vary a lot, but usually there's a compartment or cage dedicated to storage devices in your case, so you're going to want to locate that first. When installing a mechanical or normal SSD, there are two cables that you need to deal with. The first one is the SATA cable, which will be used to transfer data between the drive and the motherboard, so you need to have one hooked up to the motherboard and one hooked up to the drive itself. And the other one is of course the power cable from the power supply. Once you have those both hooked up, you're all set. That installation process doesn't apply to an M.2 drive, however. Newer motherboards come with a dedicated M.2 slot, so you'll need to start off by locating that slot and removing the screw designed to hold that M.2 drive in place. Then all you need to do is insert the drive. Note that it's normal that the drive is angled at around 30 degrees until you screw it down. Once you've secured the drive with the screw that you took off before, you're all set. Let's break down a few things you should consider when buying a storage device. The storage device you go with ultimately boils down to two key components. The budget you have and your needs. If you have a bit more money to spend and play a lot of games, you'll benefit from the increased performance provided by an SSD or M.2 drive. If you're mostly storing large files like videos, maybe a larger mechanical drive best suits your needs. There are a few key stats you should look out for though. The most obvious stat is of course the amount of data the drive can store. Sequential read and write figures are stats you often see tied to storage devices. They only indicate performance for transferring large files however, so there might be some better stats to look at. What matters the most for everyday use is the 4K performance, not to be confused with the screen resolution. This measurement is used to show how quickly the drive can handle smaller pieces of data stored at random locations. Next you want to look at the input and outputs per second. This is a measure of how fast an SSD can read or write requests. And lastly, you should consider the physical size and weight of the drive.